Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you the gaming performance on the LG G4. Now before we start gaming, let's quickly run down the specs of the phone. This phone has a 5.5 inch Quad HD a 2560 by 1440 screen. Uh, inside is running a Snapdragon 808 hexacore a 64 bit chipset along with 3 gig of RAM and the Andrino 418 GPU. Also the phone is running on Android 5.1 Lollipop. Let's quickly check this out just to make sure. So we go on the software side, there we go, and you have the Lollipop 5.1 running on the LG G4. Okay, now let's quickly uh, have a look and see what games have we installed. I got quite a few games here, including Future Fight, Real Racing, Mortal Kombat, Real Boxing, Asphalt 8, and a few more. Obviously, I can't play all of them, otherwise, it will take far too long. So, I'll play uh, just a few of them to show you guys how the performance is. Also, we will be keeping an eye on the temperature of the phone, that how um, the heat affects the phone, the back and the front of the phone. We will measure the temperature as well whilst gaming and see how much does the phone and the chipset heats up. Okay, so let's go back to the games again and first of all let's start off with real racing 3 a lot of people obviously um, keep this um, game as the benchmark any phone which can play this game uh, should have enough power I will keep the volume slightly lower than max otherwise it's gonna get too loud uh, but we rest assured the speaker at the back is very powerful it's a one watt speaker uh, with amplifier and it can get really loud in a quiet room I'll tell you what, I'll put it on max anyway so that you guys can see and enjoy it and also feel how uh, here how high the speaker is on the LG G4. Okay, let's quickly do this one set. We go race. We'll also be keeping an eye if there are any drop in frame rates or any sort of deterioration in performance. Not a good start. To be honest, I don't play this game that often. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game, so let's have a look. Hey, I was able to get the first position, not bad. Okay, so no drop in frame rates, uh, no problems in um, um, any sort of uh, performance. Um, it was pretty smooth, pretty nice, and no issues whatsoever. Okay. All right, let's get this out of this game and let's play some other game. As you saw, it was pretty clear and there was no issues uh, whatsoever. Okay, so let's get into other games and see what else we got. So let's play Future Fight. That's by Marvel. So let's play this game very, very quickly. 
so far I cannot uh, see any heat there's a bit of heat on the, around the edges not that bad but uh, let's take the heat gun and let's have a look and see how much the temperature has risen so far so the front of the screen has about 34 degrees Celsius 34.3 between 33 and 34 okay so let's have a look around the back I can see a bit of heat around the camera so let's measure that as well yeah around 35 36 degrees Celsius which is still not too bad decent enough yeah okay all right let's carry on so a couple of minutes of gaming and the temperature has gone just a little bit up not as much okay so let's play this really quickly This is a pretty heavy game as well. Um, I'm sure it will be uh, the G4 will be tested uh, well in this game. A bit of drop in the frame rate, I can see, just a little bit, not much. But once the game is up and running, then it's pretty smooth. Not bad actually. So, so far, no problems, not dropping frame rates. It was an initial, uh, when I started the game initially, uh, just dropped a few frames just for a second or two, and then it was alright, not too bad. And the speaker is pretty loud, and the good thing is, whilst you're gaming, the speaker doesn't get covered by your hand or by your fingers which is very good indeed. If the speakers have on the, are on the side, then it gets covered very easily, but obviously in the case of G4, the speakers are on the back, so it's pretty manageable. Okay, so let's get out of this game now, and let's check the temperature to see how much um, yeah, it's heated up so far. Uh, 37, 36 degrees at the front, and let's have a look around the back. On the back, it's about 34, 36, 37. Yeah, about 36, 37 as well, which is not too bad. As long as the temperature stays under 45, between 40 and 45, or it's 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 not too bad. If it stays below 40, then obviously it's uh, ideal. So as you can see, the XR core is obviously not heating as much as the and the phones with Snapdragon 810 heat up. So not too bad. 
Okay, so now let's get back to games and let's play, uh, for instance, uh, Marvel Champions. This is one of the games which I often play and uh, it'll be a good test for uh, the G4 as well. So far, Adreno 418 GPU is handling affairs very well. Hexacore is obviously performing as well good and the DDR3 RAM obviously helps a lot. On the, on the, if you remember on the G3, there were two versions which came out, one with 2GB of RAM and 3GB of RAM. The one with the 2GB of RAM struggled a lot actually uh, with gaming and overall performance, but it's, I'm happy to see that, say that LG have kept 3GB as standard on all LG G4 versions, whether it's in America, uh, Europe or Far East, which is good news. Okay, let's increase the volume a bit and let's get into a fight and see if you can play some quests here, story quests. It's quite comfortable to hold, like I said, the temperature is pretty nice, not too bad. I cannot feel any sort of heat. There's a bit of heat there around the camera, but it's very manageable. Like when I measured, you saw it earlier, it was only about 37 degrees Celsius, which is very, very nice, not too bad. Okay. pretty smooth um, no drop in frame rates no issues whatsoever and the gameplay was pretty well smooth um, let's check the heat again now it's been almost 12 minutes 10 minutes since we've been playing uh, the game so different games let's have a look 35 degrees Celsius on the front of the screen 36 35 37 point 38 38 and a half I would say yeah not too bad so let's have a look around the back because I can feel a bit of heat around the camera so let's have a look yeah 37 I would say 38 38 and a half not too bad so both the front and the back are around 38 degrees Celsius around the bottom is a lot, lot cooler as you can see and the heat normally comes around this area around the camera on top and it's not too bad Okay, so let's carry on and play another game now. Um, let's have a look. Let's play um, UFC. Let's have a look and see uh, how this game performs. It's a very heavy game, a nearly released game on uh, the Play Store. I've only played it a few times, not much. Logging into the EA servers, takes a while to load up. Okay, so let's play this. Let's increase the volume a bit. There we go. Mm, let's do this. bad
Sorry guys, I think I might be too good in this game or the opponent wasn't as tough so I finished really quickly. Let's play another opponent really quickly and then we... Um, okay, that's fine. Don't know that at the moment. Okay, cross this. I think in the new update we had uh, a lady fighter added to UFC as well. In the older version there were no ladies. I think you can choose women as well. Okay. So let's play another round and hopefully this time round is going to be slightly more tougher than before. So you guys can enjoy some extra <laughs> added fun. Knocked out again. Again, an easy fight. This game uh, is probably not as difficult, but it gets difficult once you uh, go further down. But the main point here is that uh, after a few minutes of gaming, still uh, no issues whatsoever with the performance of the LG G4. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can quickly switch between the game now that all the games are opened up. So let's get back to um, Champions, see if we can end there. If the 3 giga frame really helps, there we go. So where we left, it just started off again straight away. Unlike the S6 Edge, in which I was struggling to do that because of the RAM management issues. Okay, let's get with the multitask pane again. And let's get back into Future Fight, see where we left it. There we go, still there as well. Not too bad. So let's get back into this one again. And see if we can go back to Real Racing 3. There we go. And it's also almost exactly where we left it because it's got files which takes time to load up, that's why. Uh, it's taken a bit of a while, but in general, the RAM management is pretty good, not too bad, and you can switch between apps and games fairly quickly, uh, thanks to 3GB of RAM inside, along with the Exacore Snapdragon uh, 808 64-bit chipset. Okay, so let's quickly switch back to another game. Uh, let's go into Future Fight, see if we can go to that straight away instead. Mm, taking a bit of time to switch on between that and the other one. Uh, I think it didn't do it. Let's try it again. Real Racing 3 is a very heavy game, it takes, um, it takes a while to load it, obviously, but not too bad. Mm, I think I lost it. Real Racing 3 really, um, like I said, uh, earlier when we were playing it, it's a very heavy game and it takes time to load and it's taking a lot of memory. But then again, as long as there's no lag, as long as there's no delay and no um, lack of performance or any issue with the performance, I think it's uh, very manageable and not too bad at all. Okay, all right, see if you can play one more game. Um, maybe um, Real Steel, I think, maybe. I tell you what, instead of doing that, let me show you Mortal Kombat. I found this problem earlier on. I was trying to play Mortal Kombat X, and for some reason, the G4 does not play Mortal Kombat X. It's also a new game recently released on the Play Store, and I tried to load it a few times, but the G4 refuses to play Mortal Kombat X. And the reason, I do not know, I don't know what, what is it is, do something to do with compatibility or files or whatever. But it starts up very fairly quickly, and after the demo, it just either freezes or it just refuses to play. So um, those of you looking to play Mortal Kombat X on the G4 might actually be a little bit disappointed. Let's tap this, see if we can skip that and we can get into the game if we can, possibly. There you go. Like I said, for some reason Mortal Kombat X um, is unable to load on the G4 uh, reasons I do not know to be honest but uh, yeah anyways guys let's have a quick look at the temperature before we end the video so let's have a look at the front screen here really quickly uh, 37 38 39 degrees Celsius still under 40 and around the back camera where it gets really warm um, at times at the moment it's not so 39 degrees Celsius not too bad around the bottom is obviously cooler because CPU most likely is around this area so not too bad. So heating management perfectly fine. Performance no issues apart from Mortal Kombat X. There are no major issues. Other games play fairly well. 
So guys, there you have it. This was a quick video showing you uh, gaming performance on the LG G4. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section. And um, uh, I will be back very soon with a couple of more videos on the G4. So stay tuned, guys, and I will see you in the next video.